Hebrews 11 goes on in verse 13 and uh, just a few verses following it. It's kind of this little excursus where he takes a break from talking about uh, particular people and then he starts kind of giving a little bit of commentary, a little bit of backstory about what was going on in their hearts in the like so Abraham and Sarah and and those those folks. So he says, these all died in faith not having received the things promised, but having seen them and greeted them from afar and having acknowledged that they were strangers and exiles on the earth. For people who speak thus make it clear that they are seeking a homeland. If they had been thinking of that land from which they had gone out, they would have had opportunity to return. But as it is, they desire a better country, that is, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has pre prepared for them a city. And so, so far in Hebrews 11, he's talked about, he talked a little bit about uh, Noah, he talked about Enoch, he talked about Abram, he talked about Sarah, and how they trusted God. He talked about the definition of faith, faith is being certain of what we hope and of, of the things unseen. And here, here he, he sets, sets this thing that people who walk by faith have their eyes not like not just fixated on this world, but instead they have their eyes and their hearts fixated on the world that is to come. They, they live here and now. There's concerns for here and now and today, you know, all the stuff that we're concerned about, coronavirus, all, you know, financial stuff, what the government is doing, you know, you know all this stuff. Like, it's real. And yet people of faith have their eyes set on the horizon that is to come. That's where their hope lies. It's where their heart is. Jesus says, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So he encourages us to lay up treasures, not on earth, but in heaven Man, I, I want more of that for me. I want to be more and more a person who lives as an exile here. And with my eyes fixated on the world to come. On the glorious future that we have. The hope that is ours because of Christ and what he has done for us. And the need of the people around me. I was just, I was pierced to the heart this week. Uh, just as I was remembering some, you know, was, uh, there was a lot going on this week to, for remembering for us. But I was thinking of a, a man that we met who's a Muslim man, good, kind man, lives around the world. And my heart just was, was broken again for him, that he would come to know Jesus. And, and that, is, that is part of living with your eyes set on the horizon. Is, is this desire to see other people have the same hope that you have, that we have.